welcome to my channel and if you're new my name is Sharna as you have seen the title today we are doing some tiktok hacks tiktok makeup hacks of course this is a makeup channel beauty channel so i am like a really big tiktok fan because those actually makes me laugh so hard during this time and whenever I'm feeling low I actually go to the TikTok and watch some funny videos and when I was watching that I came across the makeup hack videos which I wanted to try it on of course and what is the better way to do it except in front of the camera and so I have tried those hacks and what I think about those hacks to know you have to see the whole video I'm going to show you throughout the day how my base or how my makeup is staying on so today I'm going to go to the grocery because I need some grocery and I actually put on some makeup because well nowadays that's the only time we actually go out and do something so you know I like to be a little extra because of course I'm not putting on makeup for someone else I'm putting on makeup for me and that's how I like it so I'm doing it if you don't like it don't watch it I watched the video from Manny Mwe he's really a huge youtuber of course if you don't and he actually showed how can you do your makeup which will not budge throughout the day during this quarantine when you wear some mask this video is actually related to that so I just wanted to try it, it actually stays don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button so you are a part of the golden fan let's get into the video <laughs> So in this new technique, I have to put my moisturizer first. For the moisturizer, I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This actually has hyaluronic acid, which is really good for your skin. This instantly quenches skin and keeps it looking smooth and hydrated. And this is also oil free. And I really love this stuff. That's why I am actually using this today. So the next thing it says here to do is to take your any kind of your powder and, and today I am using Seattle London loose powder so I'm not taking much I'm taking a small amount on my brush and then I'm setting my whole face with it and you can actually use any kind of powder you want if I'm being honest this actually feels really weird because I'm putting the powder all over my face before anything else but if it actually smooths my skin and stays forever then I'm ready to do it then I have to take this setting spray and this is from Milani this actually hydrate and illuminate plus set and fix I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to move on to the next Next, I'm taking the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Drop Primer. This is actually really hydrating and it grips the foundation really well. To me, it actually felt weird to put my powder first and the primer second, but this actually feels smooth. Next, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. This is with SPF 25. This is in the shade 465. I love this foundation very much because like it actually gives me the coverage I want as it is actually my favorite one. I want to see how it works if it works better on my skin today. I don't know if you can see or not but it literally looks so patchy. It's not worse than normal foundation. I don't know why people do it. You know, I spent five minutes in a bathroom. So, and when I came back, I can see, I can no longer see the patchiness, but like I can see what they were talking about. The foundation hack I saw in Laura Lee's video, the TikTok video she does, and the concealer hack. Now wait for five minutes. With the dumpy blender, start to blend your concealer and look how smooth. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And for that, I'm taking my trusty concealer, which is Tarte Shape Tip, and I'm in the shade Medium Honey. Here my concealer is done, and I'm going to wait five minutes, then I'm going to blend, and let's see what happens. And five minutes done, let's blend this out.
and I don't know what to think about this hair to be honest my this part of my eyes are really smooth but this ones look really patchy like it's not blending it seems like it actually got too dry and it's not blending at all don't do it just wipe it you know you like you can do a full face of makeup in five minutes so i don't think you have to wait for five minutes to dry this on then you can't blend don't do it i'm going to do my whole face and then i'm going to be back so i'm back with my full face and well without my eyes so i saw a hack where it shows i have to put the mascara on first then i have to let it dry then i'm going to use the eyelash curler and then i have to put some more mascara and it will like lift my eyelash or something so let's try that for this i'm using the maybelline big shot colossal mascara so here is the mascara right now i'm going to let it dry then we'll try again so today i kept my whole face like pretty natural even i used the nude lip today because the main concentrate on face because I need to see how the whole base actually stays I think it's already dry let's try the curler can you see the difference well yeah I can see the I actually can see the difference and like this hack Who needs eyelash if we naturally have this lash so yeah this I think this hack actually works so you guys can try this on so this is pretty much the final look and I hope you all like the video for the hacks of course the foundation hack works but you have to wait till your whole face actually dries then you have to put on the foundation otherwise it will look patchy and the concealer no it does not please don't wait for five minutes because it will not blend it will like look like patchy and the third one yes that definitely works because as you can see um, i'm not wearing any false eyelash these are the natural eyelash which i made with the hack and i don't know who actually created the hack i don't really remember but someone else did it's not me and yeah i'm really glad of how this turned out now i'm going to go to the grocery and take out some things i need for my home and i'm going to see you then bye hi so i don't know if you can see or not this actually looks really good and the whole day it did not move from my face well like in the beginning it did and i was like okay this is going to be a bad day but it wasn't it actually looks really good after it actually sinks like on your skin it actually is pretty good i'm really loving the look and also the curl it actually helped the curl so pretty impressed with this hex only just don't do the concealer one so See you guys next time. Bye. I was angry before.